so a little bit of an anatomy lesson okay um if this is interesting absolutely so uh connective tissue um don't worry about the muscles for a moment the, the the stuff that makes the muscles the structure that makes the muscles which is uh, the connective tissue um and everything else tendons and what whatnot it, uh, there's, there's two fundamental types there's there's collagen and elastin and um it's sort of uh, the body builds uh, tissue in proportions appropriate to use so for example uh, if you if you hold yourself around the base of the spine the body gets the idea okay we need to not move this joint so it builds more and more collagen and it's a, it's a fairly collagenous joint anyway because it doesn't want to move too much um other places like um uh, well your, your limbs uh, the, the the tendons in the limbs are generally very flexible uh, uh, um, loads of elastin um, because that's what you need and that's what you do if if you um if for example you walked around with your arm like that for six weeks by the end of it you it would take effort to straighten it because the the tissue will have built collagenous material around it to keep it where you're saying you want it to be yeah yeah and it is it's the same it's the same with um you know if if you don't want to move a joint for whatever reason it's painful it's uh, there's an injury there's a bit of uh, rheumatoid arthritis or whatever um if you don't move a joint the body goes okay you don't want to move it i'll, I'll fix it in place so you don't have to keep putting effort into holding it stiff so the body does exactly what you tell it to do if on the other hand um you find support through your bones then the stuff around the bones is no longer uh, needed to prevent movement, to prevent excessive movement. So, so the the tissue starts going. Okay, I can chill out, and um, and it, it stops being so stiff. But it, it takes a while because it's it starts as co collagen, and then when you decide to move provided you don't catch weight with the tissue if you move with a sense of being supported through the joints then that allows the collagen to actually stretch and it, it stretches in a plastic kind of way sort of slow and gradual um, if you do it too fast it becomes rigid that, that's that's how it works um, because if you suddenly do that the tissue has to be has to respond by by tightening up to stop you from falling apart so slow movements that's why i'm always telling people to slow down in what they do so slow movements where there is support through the bones through the joints so that that, that tissue doesn't have to do that job will make it stretch a little make it become a bit more plastic to start with then you come back together it starts to shrink in again it, you open it up and it goes okay you want me to be elastin and it starts to regenerate with less collagen more elastin until it becomes flexible but uh, the, you need to continue to work in ways that don't give the tissue the job of carrying your weight same is true for your spine when you're used to carrying your weight with your spine you will build stiffness around those places mm -hmm. so first of all you want to stretch it so you hang off it and if you do it suddenly you'll pull on it it will get stiffer you'll want to pull harder it won't do the job the best you can do is tear it <laughs> yeah, and you don't want to do that. Yeah, that's what happens when people hurt themselves in forward bends and things. If you do it gently, um, where the tissue isn't being given the job of taking the weight, that's why I'm always getting you to find support where you feel light, where you're not hanging off yourself. When the, when the tissue isn't given the job of taking the bulk of your weight, it can creep open because it's not given the job of support. So it starts to get more, you get, start to get better range of movement. As you continue to stay supported through your spine, then that tissue becomes more elastic with time, with practice, with continued practice. And, uh, and, um, and you know, through the spine is when, when you can support yourself from head to toe and the, the forces of support travel from one end to the other without having to be braced at sections in between one end and the other, those places that you hold stiffness. So it's, it's, the, the job is to get support traveling through your bones and through your joints 
so that the tissue around it can do what it will do. And how you interpret the sensations, like if, if, you, if you hang off your, your heart, then this, t this tissue between here and here at the back of the spine will be stiff as hell. You start to find ways of supporting yourself where it doesn't do that job and it will feel stiff and you won't be able to move it because it, 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 it's, it's there supporting you. The thing that will allow it to move will be when you get su support through that section of the spine and uh, so, so it's no longer going to carry your weight and you are moving whilst the, the vertebra are together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eventually it becomes elastic and still you have lots of sensation because that tissue has taken 20 years to form <laughs> or whatever, you know. So you'll have lots of sensation and, and, and to avoid the sensation, the simplest way is to go back to hanging. Simplest way to avoid sensation is go back to habit. And then the tissue will go back to its normal job and go, okay, that's what, that's what you want then. Okay, fine. You know, so it, it, it's, um, that bit of a, that little anatomy lesson might help you understand the, uh, the sensations that you get when you're changing a hip joint or it's very deep. It's very intense. It's very kind of, um, it can feel like, is that, is that right? Is that good? Is that okay? Because it's so intense, but the intensity is something changing. But you have to stay on track in terms of what you are doing to allow that change to happen. And uh, the, the subtle side of things is the, through the breath and its release. There you go. An anatomy, a practical anatomy lesson. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah, that being.